Well, he came up with it a little bit, I guess, but a lot of guys got to deal with it now. Social media. Yeah. Like I caught the tail end. Oh, yeah, I caught the tail end of it. Yeah, because you you know you get done with a game, and then you might get some media, or when you're walking out of the arena, fans might shout something. Mm-hmm. But then it's over, really. Mm-hmm. Or you know, there might be some local news or whatever. Right. It might take some heat it's or some talk 20, show. Twenty four hours. But now yeah. it's like dudes are getting on. They're checking their Instagram. It's like, oh shit, game, dude, can't believe you missed that. And they're paying attention to it. Oh, like it's Kevin Hart's, or, uh, Sorry, Durant. Kevin Durant's my favorite player. But he's hands down to me mm-hmm. the most talented dude in the NBA. I love Kevin Durant. When I found out he had burner accounts, <laughs> I, was, I was broken hearted. Have you heard about no, this? No, no, no. Oh, well, he had fake accounts like Skip Bayless. He had fake accounts and he was f- chiming back at kids. Like kids. You're like, well, you suck, you little fat. He probably needed it. He probably needed a catharsis. No, it's different, man. No, it's hard because I don't think people understand. Like, we all have a level of criticism <laughs> we receive, caught. but, you know, he went from being like beloved by everyone when his mom was the real MVP and had oh, the emotional man. speech where Kevin or Kevin Durant was, you know, the, like the poster boy for the NBA to the next season or, the, or season two or after that, like going to the Warriors and the world hating him. You hating know? So him. We talked about it on uh, on the podcast and to me, I With felt Kevin? Like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, damn, I, I heard yeah. that one. I was like, you know, I was just like, you're Kevin Durant. Who gives a fuck about these people? Like, cuss them out from your phone. Like, yeah. you know, why use a burner account? And he, yeah, this, this, and that. And then at the end, he's like, I'm still going to use a burner account. I just got <laughs> caught slipping. <laughs> he <laughs> said, <laughs> <"Yes."> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on, yeah, it's on our episode. Check it out. He's like, I don't you know, even, he didn't give a fuck. And I like the fact that, because I'm someone that fires back too. I think people think, and I'm sure you guys get it too, with the platform we have, people think that they can just say anything to us. Like, yes. we're not human. And, oh, turn your shoulder, be the big man. Fuck that. Like, if you say something that's going to annoy me enough or disrespect me enough, I'm going to say, it back to me because I just wish people live by the rule like don't say nothing you wouldn't say to my face that's how I feel which they never that's would exactly oh, what fuck those they, guys would never, never say that's would. Around, as as a man yeah I this, swear to God it should be a I principle it should be a principle like 100%. just don't say nothing you wouldn't say but to my face you're giving right. these dummies a voice the yeah. where they th- you know how how inconsiderate how stupid you have to be to fire something at Kevin Durant <laughs> I mean, way to go dude <laughs> Right. Why? One of the greatest well, that's like, ever. That's ever. What I was telling him I'm watching. I'm watching the fights with a bunch of actors. Mm-hmm. A lot of them pretty famous and stuff. Mm-hmm. And and they're all. But we're watching. We're watching Anthony Joshua and Andy Ortiz fight. Andy Ruiz. Uh, and Ru- Andy Ruiz fight. And we're watching them fight. And these guys have been boxing their whole life. And oh, the actors. Wow. And by the way, Sugar Ray Leonard is there. Yeah. Now shut the fuck up around Sugar Ray right. and watch. Du- and I got people criticizing the fighters. Just why I don't, don't, they can't I don't fight. watch fights with anybody. I, I right. can't. And, and, and to your point about just like saying something bad about somebody, and, and we know a comic who got chewed out by another comic because he went bad on on her. And, and for me... Went if, bad on who? Yeah, you, 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 we know a comic. <laughs> we know a little random comic, story. We know a comic who went bad what on another comic story. who's famous. And then that comic goes, hey, motherfucker, you're going to say that shit to want to say that shit to my face. Do you remember? You told me the story. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, yeah. But the point is, oh yes. The point is, I'm not going to say anything. You're right. The comic I consider it unmanly to <laughs> yeah. use this platform right. and trash talk somebody unless I'm willing to fight right. them. Right. I swear to God. Right. Well, I, I, think, I just think it's just tough for you know because like I said, we give anybody a voice now, and you know you made it to the highest level in professional fighting. You made it to the highest level in your profession. Like it's hard to get where we went. Hard. It's because it, if it was easy, everybody oh. would do it. Yeah, it, everyone would be rich so if it was the case. And you know what I mean? It's always hard. It's and and that's not just we in any profession. When you get to the top, it yes. takes a lot of work, dedication, sacrifice, everything. But then you give people a chance to just say whatever, knowing goddamn well they probably can't even tie their shoe and you know chew gum at the same time, or can't, you know. So it's just like <laughs> right. You know but, what I love a lot of basketball it is them game? Lashing out it. Yeah, I like mean, it's, it's a lot. Of, a lot of it's they jealousy. They want to be Matt Barnes. So a lot of it's jealousy. Count, so it's you know, and they never took chances. They never took chances in their life. So they see you live. They want to critique other people. Like man. Right. I I love when, you know, one thing I love and I used to just pay attention to is when like during NBA games we'll have fans come out and shoot free throws or make layups or do some kind of contest <laughs> yeah. during timeouts. <laughs> yeah. And you see these dudes can't make a fucking layup, airballing free throws, have to like shoot like this from the three point line. I'm just like, you're the same fucking people booing and screaming <laughs> exactly. at us, telling us we suck and you can't even make a layup. You, you ever see what Deontay Wilder did to a troll? Uh uh-uh. uh. So you know, Deontay Wilder, one, one of the uh, you know heavyweight champ of the world at one time the, this guy kept trolling him kept trolling him he's like dude come to my fucking gym because the guy would be like he's some small white dude mm-hmm. he's like I will fuck you up if I ever see you <laughs> and Deontay Wilder's like come to the gym bro right. come to the gym the right. dude shows up it turns out he's crazy though the well crazy. the dude shows up yeah. and Deontay knocks him the fuck out <laughs> no way yeah 
I don't watch he fell bit. down. Yeah, please. He kept falling down. <laughs> please. But he, he's crazy. This guy's Charlie. His name is Charlie Zelenoff. Zelenoff, yeah. He's completely out of his mind. When was this? Recently? He challenges no, it's all a while famous ago. boxers, and he's out of his mind and tries to find him watch. I don't know how crazy he is. Oh, he's already got a, a Samsung flip phone, so you know he's burnt <laughs> Bubba, out. Bubba, he's 2014. <laughs> he actually... Anyhow, he's just talking smack to him and then shows up. He actually goes and tries to fight him. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to take his head off. Oh, dude. He's never boxed. He's not a boxer. Well, nobody is, though. These guys online, none of them are. But this guy's actually crazy and he goes and tries to challenge every pro boxer, mm -hmm. including Mayweather's father, and starts swinging really hard. He's gotten beaten up so badly. Look at Cameron May get the hell out the way. Oh, 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 so hard. Get up. <laughs> the bottom's like, get up. Get up. Man. Hell no, I want him to get up. Yeah, me too. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> get up. Oh, you called him a nigga too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at him. Throw that guy up. And, and people who don't know Deontay Wilder, if you're watching this, he's the nicest guy he's cool. in the world. He's cool. He's cool, calm, He's the best guy in the world. Right. So think how bad this dude right. has been trolling. For it's him a lot, to do man. This. People, people don't understand that, man. It's don't you know, I asked Kobe in our interview. I was just like, you know, what are some of the stuff that that stood out from the media or people that said nasty things to you that stood out to you? And he paused and looked at me. and Said all of it. Like I heard all of it. Wow. You know what I mean? Like that shit hurts. Yeah. You know, we're human. We're ready. We just happen to get paid, you know, a, a good amount of money to do something. But we're still human. And I think people lose that, you know, because we've made it to the top. That okay, well, they make a lot of money. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you know they think I mean? because he's rich, it's good. It's okay to do it. It's never okay. But what's weird is like with you or Kobe or <laughs> Steph Curry, and I, I can go through a list of guys. I don't see it really affecting them. I'm sure you, some of you guys see it, but then with Kevin Durant, because I love him, so I can. See, it weighs on mm -hmm. him. Like he has the hoodie up, and you can tell he's like he's thinking about them. Like, oh, dude, you're the baddest motherfucker on the court. Mm -hmm. I own it, dude. I'm mm -hmm. a believer in not listening to good or bad. Mm -hmm. Because I think the same, the same critic, the same, when you get, you know, satisfaction from somebody saying good things, mm -hmm. be careful because we're all too sensitive. I'm too mm -hmm. sensitive. I, the world, I, I the world is so, you so, watch so, like 80s comics or movies, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the words they're using is people would lose their mind and it was oh, back in oh uh, Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. I forgot what movie I was just watching the other 48 day hours? and he was nigger this nigga. I was like. Oh shit! I yeah. forgot about it. you know what I mean. But it was yes. a normal dialect, no, you yes. know, amongst each other in a movie. Like now, people lose their mind. No. You know, he's he's right. You know what I mean. So I think overall, you know, obviously it's, it's a sensitive time with race and everything. But I mean, I just think overall, you know, we're very. It, it's just different now. You know what I mean. And it, every, you respect and love everyone, but we're a very sensitive. Tell you this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay. What's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that. <laughs> Boxing you've been doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.